Oh yeah. All right, cool. Time for the uh, second second quarter, isn't it? After quarter time. <laughs> Like I said, we're now going to be doing more hair texture. We'll finish off the hair texture in the top right. So we're going to be building up shapes just like we did in the first tutorial. We'll add a little bit of texture and then we're going to move on to the face where we've got some of the more critical shapes of the image. You really got to make sure you don't make any mistakes at all in the face because we don't really have any way of fixing them if we're not adding any white, okay? So I'll start with the side of the face, one of the most critical areas of the artwork. Very straightforward, just using a semi-hard edged line to create that the edge of that shape there and the bottom of the eyelid and I'll blend it out into the edge of the bottom of the eyelid. Add a little bit of that detail we see. Just using those reverse daggers, you can see how it's a dagger stroke because you're coming around and tightening up on that edge. Again, you've got another dagger stroke there. Reverse it, play around with it, do what you've got to do, and draw it into the darker area, the 100% area. And this is arguably one of the hardest bits of the artwork. You gotta make sure you get this edge right, hey? You can see that my lines aren't perfect, but because I build them up slow, I've done the majority of them right, so it comes out looking okay. And this is just a tiny little transition, tiny little blend. The other line here. And we're looking okay. Look how quickly separate effects can turn into an artwork. Just use the side of my finger to encourage a bit of that blend. The faster you can create your images, generally the more accurate they become. It's funny because it seems like you'd be out of control if you're going faster, but you're actually showing better control the faster you go. Am I boring the hell out of you? Blend that out a little, exactly as you see in the reference. Create the soft edge of the nose here. You have to be able to recognize these shapes in the image, that there is actually a soft shape there. They're critical to giving you dimension in the rest of the image. You can see I'm not hitting that line perfectly every time. Do I look worried? Didn't think so. Just as long as you hit it enough times in an accurate spot so that it looks right. Let's quickly create this softer shape. Inside of the nose here, I'm going to use my hand to help me out there. That simple, ladies and gentlemen. Use my thumb here, a little mask. Get that soft tone we see. We've got ourselves a nose. You can see all we're doing here is just creating one transition that starts from the bottom of the top lip and moves up. And then from the top lip, we're creating a transition that just comes down. It's just lines pointed in a certain direction. You can see I've just created that first edge on this side, just using like a little reversed dagger stroke. And I'm just blending now, blending down. Trying not to get any overspray anywhere else. Encourage a little edge there. I'm not adding any detail you might've noticed. I only want to create the basic shapes. Sort of cheating now by starting on the other quarter, but I just want to show you what the lips are going to look like. To get these little white lines, just block out with my finger, create a series of little dots coming off my finger, 
Come the other way. All right, let's keep moving forward. And you just see how easy it is to create these softer shapes with the airbrush. Just from a large height, I'm just bringing a reverse dagger stroke down in this direction along these dotted lines so that the edge of the effect falls on these dotted lines. A large height to me is 10 centimeters or so. And you can just see it blending in nicely until you get that tone exactly how you see it in the reference. And it's the nicest thing about the airbrush, the way things that just blend in. Go in freehand, create the edges. <laughs> and this is where you can really start to get some speed. And you just slowly see it start to come together. Starting with a line, turning into a transition, and then creating some small little dagger strokes just coming down for eyelashes, just a slight bit of texture added in as you're creating the shapes. But, you know, you work with what you've got on the day. I'm creating a transition, while at the same time I'm starting from a closer height here and ending on a much higher height here. It creates this perfect shape underneath the eye. It's exactly what we're looking for. Give the face a little bit of colour. And the face is really coming along now. Now as we've already seen in the first tutorial, it was just a matter of building up the darker shapes, then adding the tone and dimension, and then adding a little bit of texture. It's going to be no different in this instance. And if you remember, the way we created it was all lines, transitions, and dagger strokes. Okay, so it's just those three effects. There might be some dots to color in some areas, but it's really straightforward. If you pay attention to what I'm doing and copy exactly what I'm doing, pay attention to what height I'm doing it at, make sure that you're doing the effect at the right tone that you see on the reference, and you won't, you can't get anything wrong. Straightforward, all right? So follow along, let's have some fun.